in this video we are going to talk about interview questions of us taxes asked by uigds this question was asked previously to the candidate who has recently applied for uigds for us tax enroll and have appeared for interview they got selected as well okay and now they are working at uigds in 2024 okay this was the exact question which was asked to them okay and i encountered with them i talked to them and i got this 25 questions of uh, interview okay which were asked to them in the interview okay let's discuss this in details kindly do not skip any part of this video because every question is different every question is important okay and you need to know how you can counter this question how you can answer this question it doesn't matter if you know the answer okay if you don't know the answer if you know that is good if you don't know that is also good because you can prepare beforehand before you are going for the interview at UICTS. Please understand, okay, in interview, your confidence matters, your way of communication matters, how you are dealing with any question, how you are taking this question on your mind, that also matters, okay. So I will tell you in and out importance of these questions, okay, and how you can encounter this question when you are going through the interview for EYGDS for US tax and role. Okay, don't ever think that okay, I know this answer, then I am good. You are hired. No. If even you if you have given the 100% answer correct, okay, they may not select you because there are a lot of different things which is factored in while they are taking your interview. I also take interview and I know what are the psychological level, what is the importance and how we expect a candidate to give the answers, okay? So I will tell you each and every things in details in this video, okay? So let's start with a simple question which they will start with. Once you are online with them, okay, on the laptop because interview will be online, okay? They will greet you, okay? They will greet you, okay? Hi, my name is Mr. Deep. I'm here to take your interview for this uh, role. Hope you are fine. Everything is good. Your communication, your voice, okay? Your camera is good. When you will say affirmative, then they will start taking your interview okay the first thing which is basic okay and which is important which they gonna ask you is very simple question first question is introduce yourself okay we may think that okay this is a very uh, easy question because they are asking about ourselves okay but when we are answering about ourselves okay we get confused okay we know that we know ourselves but while we are articulating ourselves in front of them okay we get confused we don't tell them in a sequence okay so telling them in a sequence is important in coming videos i will also tell how you can introduce yourself in front of the interviewer because they are highly experienced we are having five years of experience we are having 10 years of experience okay so we can understand why your communication why your way of telling that how you know yourself okay so first will be introduce yourself Kindly, kindly construct a good uh, answer for yourself, okay? How you will tell them about yourself, what will be the sequence, how you will end and how you will interact with them because your series of questions will start from yourself, okay? And they will take out of, take point out of your uh, answers, okay? The second question will be related to your resume, okay? Hope you are having a good resume. Do not give them master resume, give them a proper resume which is constructed for that particular role okay they may see your resume and they will ask you from the uh, education part okay that if you have done bcom if you have done mba if you have done mba in finance then why you have done mba in finance okay these are the common questions which they ask when they are taking your interview these are the questions which they ask for breaking the ice okay to make the interaction interactive okay to make you comfortable because these are the questions which you know by your heart, right? The answers can be come out of the, your heart and you will feel comfortable while they will ask you the technical question in the future, okay? So if you are a BCom, if you are an MBA in finance, you must have done any internship. So they will surely ask you, tell me about your internship. What was your role in, in your uh, internship? What did you learn in your internship? Kind of questions they may ask you that about your internship, okay? Now, if you have done your project, okay, because in MBA, we do a lot of projects, okay, we do projects on finance, we do projects on marketing, we do projects on sales, okay, there are a lot of projects which we take place and we are very happy and we feel very happy to put that things in our resume, okay, we put them in the bowl, okay, projects done, okay, learnings, objectives, we have put it in our resume. Now, it is time to prove what you have done exactly in your 
project okay so they may ask you question on your project what did you do in your project okay the next question can be tell me about your strength and weakness okay they may ask you strength and weakness this is very tricky question guys because when i was asked tell me your strength and weakness i didn't know what is my strength what is my weakness okay i couldn't tell them okay so construct a two or three strength and weakness of yourself while you are giving interview in front of your interviewer okay let's move on to the next question tell me what was the last time or when was the last time when you performed a leadership role why this question is important let me tell you see when you are working at eygds or any big four you are working in a team you will be working in a team and there there will be a leader there will be a team leader team manager okay everything will be there and why this question they want to ask you whether you have performed any leadership role whether do you know what is the responsibility of our leader what it takes to be a leader okay they would want to know this is the psychological question this is the common question which they ask you okay to judge you to know whether you are capable to work in a big team or not okay so make sure that you are giving a right answer if you have performed any leadership role in your previous time then tell them okay leadership role can be anything leadership can be done in a game also leadership can be done in your classrooms also leadership can be done in any project any uh, summer internship anything can be a uh, leadership opportunity a leadership role okay so tell them the exact answer if you have not done okay i know you must have done something if you have not done tell them so recently i have not come across any situation in my life okay moving on the next question guys what was the okay when was the last time when you worked in a team okay this is a follow up question with that previous one when was the last time when you worked in a team again the logic is very simple they want to know whether you have worked in a team or not whether you have know how to be a team player how to take your team and run together how how to take a team and work on a, any single project okay they would like to know by this question okay and form your answer so make sure that you are giving a constructive answers to them with these questions moving on okay how can team conflict can be managed how a team conflict can be managed if there is a conflict in a team of course when you are working in a team remember your childhood when you were playing in a team okay cricket or anything okay you must be fighting with each other so as a team leader as a team player how you can counter how you can come off the conflict which is going in a team okay as a team player you should also know what can be done to remove this to finish this conflict which is going on in project or any team so make sure that you are giving a good answer to them see there is no right answer there is no wrong answer for this question okay again there is no right answer and there is no wrong course answer for this kind of question these questions are based on the situation so as per your ability as per your previous experience as per your capability of handling or managing because you have done bcom or mba you have read the finance you have read the management you should answer this kind of question in a well and constructive manner okay moving on to the next question do you know about excel see when you are going for the interview okay for the eygds or for any big four for us taxation excel ms powerpoint ms award okay these are the things which is very commonly used while we are working at the company okay because about 80% of works are depends okay are depending upon the excel so make sure that you are having a good command on the excel okay if you are having the basic also you can survive but you should be having basics because when they will tell you they should not tell you how to cut how to paste how to Uh, use of alt control anything okay so make sure that you know the excel part and by this question they will want to know whether you know about excel or not so if you know about the excel tell them okay sir i know advanced excel i know basic excel i have used excel in my project i will i have used multiple uh, uh, multiple times excel in my uh, college or any placement or anything which you have used upon okay now again see the follow up question when did you and what did you do on the excel last time now if you have analyzed your uh, project on the excel if you have done any analysis on the pro- project on excel give them the example okay sir you must be seeing that project which is written on my resume 
I was using Excel to analyze data collected from the market on that Excel. Okay, this kind of answers can be given in a good way and that is very positive. Okay, and guys do not take this uh, questions lightly because these are the questions which are was asked by previous candidate who has recently applied for EYGTS. Coming upon the next question, what is pivot table? What is pivot table? Okay, this is the part of Excel. So you should know what is pivot table, what is pivot chart. Okay, so read it on this uh, Google. But as a fresher, as a MBA graduate, as a become graduate, I know you know these kind of answers because this is a very common and commonly asked in the Excel part. Now coming upon the accounting part, what is trial violence? What is trial balance they, the, they may ask you. These are the common accounting questions which they will ask you. Okay, Accounting is important while you are working for the US taxation because everything is depending upon the accounting principles only. Okay, So they will want to know whether your knowledge on accounting. So what is the trial balance? Coming up on the next question, what are the things that comes under particular column of trial balance? Okay, the deep knowledge of trial balance. What are the particular things which comes under columns in the trial balance? So make sure that you know the trial balance in and out. I know you know it because you are or you have read it recently in your BCom or MBA. Coming up on the next question, which is what is depreciation? Depreciation is favorite part of us. Okay, why you are giving the interview at uh, UIGTS or at any big four? Okay. Except that they will ask you depreciation question for sure. They will ask you bad debt question for sure because these are the favorite part and these are very important for US tax uh, role. Okay, because you will be working upon the bad debt, you will be working upon the depreciation while you are up, uh, working at the US tax session. Okay, so make sure that you know that about you know about depreciation in a very good manner. Okay, so what is depreciation? Methods of calculating depreciation okay so there are multiple methods which can be used for calculating depreciation so tell them one by one with example okay so two questions were asked what is depreciation and what are the methods to calculate depreciation now second favorite what is bad debt what is bad debt they will ask you Okay, now they will also ask you what are the provisions of bad debt. So make sure that you know about this bad debt and provision of bad debts. Make, uh, guys, they will also ask you about general entries regarding these questions. Okay, I will come on that on later part of this video. Goal, uh, coming ahead of next question, what are the golden rules? This is very simple question. I still remember when I was asked what is the golden rule of accounting. In my first interview at uh, GT, I forgot. Okay, I couldn't answer them. Okay, because of stress, because of nervousness, I couldn't answer them. But you should know what is the golden rule of accounting, guys. These are the simple questions. Okay, see if you answer it in a right way, that is also good. If you don't know, admit, sir. Right now, I don't remember this. Okay, but. Please go ahead with the interview. If I remember, I will surely come up with the uh, answers or tell them, sir, I I think I don't know the answer of this, but I promise, okay, I make sure that while uh, we end this interview, I will read it. The first task will be to read this question, okay, and get the answer, okay? I will learn it. I'm a quick learner and of course, I will going, I'm going to learn this very quickly. Make them feel comfortable, make them feel assured that, okay, if I don't know anything, I am ready to learn it. Don't make them feel that, okay, I don't know then and I don't know. No, if I don't know, I will know. I will, of course, read it, read it about, okay, and I will get the answer. Make them feel assured about these kind of situations. Okay, going ahead with the questions, what are the golden rules? And they will ask you journal entries, okay? Tell me the entry of laptop purchased and sold on discount. They are not going to ask you simple general entries. Of course, they will ask you one or two, okay? But they will, I uh, would like to know, okay, the multiple entries, wala general entries, like what is, uh, suppose, purchased of laptop, okay, and sold it on the discount, okay? These are type of general entries they will ask you while they are taking your interview. So make sure that you are having the 
proper answers okay and tell them with the examples now coming ahead with the next question what is tax you are applying for the tax role you are applying for us tax role but they would like to know what is tax what is tax tell me if you know the answer tell me in the comment section what is tax okay tell me in the simple language tell me in a simple layman language okay with example okay in the comment section i am waiting for it okay now coming ahead with the next question okay do you know anything about us taxation okay do you know anything about us taxation by this question they would they want or they know that you don't know anything about us taxation but still they would like to check if you know something if you have re read it some somewhere okay what is us what is us taxation actually okay so if you know what is us taxation tell them if you don't know it's okay it's not necessary to answer this kind of question okay just tell them sir uh, sir i know just definition of us taxation okay but i am not 100% sure about us taxation because i have not worked on it okay but while i will take this job okay i am going to work on it and then i will answer you what is us taxation in a detail i promise in coming up one year okay i will able to answer you each and everything of us taxation see you are making them feel good you are making uh, them feel assured okay that you are very much confident that you will be selected okay and you are very much confident that in year you will know everything about us taxation wow this is something which is positivity okay and they would like to see that as a team player okay so make sure that you are having always a positive vibe and you are very confident while you are giving the interview now going ahead with the next question guys okay accounting equation so recently in a previous interview of one of the candidate who got selected the question was what is accounting equation okay what is what does uh, this mean exactly so make sure that you know the answer okay so because they may ask you similar kind of question going ahead with the next question now interview interviewer will always want to answer okay or always want to ask you question in a story way like example my friend took a uh, 1000 rupees from me okay but some days later okay he only returned me 900 rupees 100 is gone okay he said i cannot repay you 100 rupees okay i will just tell you i give you the 900 rupees what are the general entries and in which concept it will come so it will come in bad debt concept okay so 100 is the bad debt now you will have to give them the general entries they may ask you similar kind of question for depreciation as well okay so i purchased my laptop at 100 rupees okay but suppose example but after the few years i can sell it i can sell it only for 500 rupees what happened okay what are the concept which is used in this okay tell me the example tell me the entries and tell me i uh, convince me the accounting on it okay so give them a good answer because it is the depreciation part so 500 has gone in depreciation so you will have to tell them the entries to uh, convince them the uh, rules applied for the of accounting in this okay this side of kind of answer you can give in a good in a appropriate manner okay i hope you are good and i hope you are understanding it well what is e ay and what is py do you know what is ay and what is py do you know the full form of ay and py if you know answer me in the comment or google it and answer me okay so know the know the uh, full form and know the definition also of ay and py okay so this was the 25 question which was encountered uh by the candidate who has recently given the interview at UIGDS for US tax and roll okay if you are going to attend the interview for US tax and roll for UIGDS you should go through these questions in and out okay so that you will tell them the good answer and you will be confident because you know the answers beforehand okay so if you know the answers comment down your answers if you don't know okay don't worry go on google and read it and practice it watch this video again and again and practice with your answers okay but if you are serious watch this video again answer every question in the comment section okay and i will reply to you okay i hope you guys found this video very useful if you do please hit the like button 
and subscribe this channel so that you get a job update on time and hit the bell icon for sure okay thanks so much for supporting me keep sharing and share this video with your friends who are going to give interview for UIGTS UIGTS is taking interview okay in a raw okay so make sure that you are watching this video fully okay thanks so much guys i hope i helped you thanks so much take care good day